as I will talk about later, we can see that the, the effects on elections by using social media are really high. They're a really powerful tool in order to get closer to our potential, I mean to the potential voters, to civic. What are the up-to-date trends that politicians used or have to, have to be using? Blogs, Facebook, and Twitter. Blogs give us the opportunity to get, not only to share our opinion, not only to write down our opinion, but also to get the pulse of the voters. Blogs give us the opportunity, gives the, the politicians, the, the, the opportunities to politicians to see the emotional side of the voters. Facebook, as uh, probably number one uh, used uh, social media platform, is a good uh, way where we can communicate our political ideas, our political information. Facebook is a good pay place where we can get closer to young voters, where we can interact with young voters. It's a really good way, I mean the excellent way, the extraordinary way for a two-way communication in real life. It provides a way to be, to talk on a more, more personalized level with the MP, I mean not only with the politicians but also uh, with the, the MPs and the uh, the people who, who work uh, in governments. With Twitter, we can get a real-time feedback between politicians and voters. So that's why this is the best way where we can share our personal ideas and our intimate personal, our intimate part from the personal life. What are the key benefits of social media in politics? First of all, the voters can get closer to, to the politicians and to connect with them on an intimate level. It's a very quick and fast way of communicating. We don't have to wait uh, the, the MP to answer our email or we don't have to wait him to, to pick up the phone. With social media, the politicians can identify the target audience, and of course to track their opinion in order to implement their ideas further, further on. Also, social media give us the opportunity to spread the idea with a strong viral effect, probably the strongest one. What we have to be careful when we start or when we want to jump using social media. First of all, everybody should ask himself, what do I want to achieve? What is my aim? Do, uh, do I have the power, do I have enough time to, be, to jump into social media? Which audiences are important for this idea? Which audiences are important for this aim? Are these audiences present online? What platforms are they using? Should I address to Facebook, to Twitter, or maybe MySpace. Are those platforms and tools available to support the content we want to share, the politician want to share? And of course, the last, can we sustain what we start? Are we have the power, are we have the time, do we have the resources to be able and to be present 24-7? What are the future trends that, I mean, the potential future trends? Of course, that when we want to be closer to civic, when we want to be closer to, to voters, when we want to be closer to young voters, then we don't have to skip the social media. We don't have to neglect these kind of platforms. Facebook is going to be, I mean, is the primary way of communicating with, uh, of communication with young uh, voters. Old methods of communicating, such as email, are old-fashioned. They're not very up-to-date, they're not in, 